nyamannya. Hello, I'm Nicole. Welcome to Red Panda Cooking. Just a short announcement before we begin. This channel will be closed. For six weeks. This is because my O-level examinations are coming. It's time to panic. I'll need to spend more time on my studies, so the next video will be uploaded on... Today we'll be making... Korean spicy chicken. Don't worry if you can't take too spicy food. Neither can I. That's the great thing about cooking at home. We can easily adjust the level of spiciness. This is Korean hot pepper paste. They have the spicy version and the less spicy version which is also cheaper. Let's get cooking! Add salt and sugar to taste. Different brands of soy sauce have different levels of saltiness. We are using skinless and boneless chicken thigh. Cut the chicken into bite size. Add all the ingredients and mix well. We are going to marinate it for 2 hours. These are the vegetables that we will be using. Heat the pan on medium heat. Today we are going to add only half a tablespoon of oil straight away. Spread the oil evenly, we just need a thin layer of oil. Add the marinated chicken when the pan is slightly warm. If the pan is too hot, the marinated chicken will burn easily. When the chicken starts to sizzle like that, we can start stirring it. I like to cook the chicken about 2 minutes before adding the vegetables. If you prefer your vegetables to be softer, cook them together with the chicken at the beginning. For me, I prefer my vegetables to be more crunchy. That's why I only add them in after cooking the chicken for 2 minutes. Cook for another 5 minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked. When the chicken is fully cooked, add the sesame seeds, mix well and it's done. I like to eat Korean spicy chicken with either rice or lettuce. Hope you like this recipe! Subscribe! I'll be back! Thank you and see you in 6 weeks time!